Okay guys, I've got a game here and it is possibly the worst game that's ever been made. Okay, I'm not even sure I can pronounce this game. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. Virtual... <laughs> Virtual... I would... No, no, I can't do it. Hold on, I'll give it another go. Virtual... Hydlide? Hydlide. Is, it, is that the way you pronounce it? I don't even know, the fucking, I mean, just the name of it is just, is, and just should be an indicator of the game itself, I suppose. I mean, any game where you can't pronounce the name of it is just, you're going to have problems right there, really. So this virtual, I'm going to say it again, I'm, I'm going to be able to say it, I'm going to try through this video, virtual... Hyde Lied is a remake or a remastered kind of um, game of the original and the original was on I know it was on the NES um, it was on some other Japanese systems I'm gonna say the MSX but I'm not 100% on that really but it, it is the Saturn this Saturn game is meant to be a remake or an a remaster of the original game and the original game was just loaded on you know especially the NES versions meant to be absolutely rubbish just a really poor game really so you'd expect them to go okay this game's pretty rubbish do we a do we just make a totally brand new game and just let the series or the well it's not even a series really or do we let the game just, you know, um, fall by the wayside and create a new game? Or do we remake the game and try and make it absolutely better, you know, um, and just do things right that wasn't done in the original? I mean, isn't that the point of doing a remake? Well, this game on the Saturn is the worst game I've ever played. What? No, sorry. Yeah, the worst game. I mean, I've played some really bad games. Pit Fighter on the SNES. Um, there was a Medal of Honor game on the Wii. The first Medal of Honor game to be on there. Man, that game was... Oh, that game was awful. Really, really awful. Um, this game has to be the worst. First off, the graphics. The graphics are absolutely terrible. Um, the worst graphics on the Saturn period. Um, even beating the likes of um, Pinball Graffiti, which has some really, really, really ropey graphics. But this is the worst. Um, what amazes me is when people pick, especially when you read some of the uh, letters, pages of... Uh, Sega Saturn magazine, you have people writing saying, Oh, I don't like, um, I can't believe you said that uh, Sonic Car or uh, Burning Rangers is a really top game because the graphics are blah blah blah, and I don't like this, and it isn't the game you said it was, blah blah blah. But you'd think you have to think that, hold on a minute, actually, the games are good, it's just the game is probably not your cup of tea. But if you really want to hold up a game and say, hold on a minute, this is a bad game of the Sega Saturn system, then wouldn't you actually go to a game that actually is bad, rather than one that is good but not your thing, that you don't really take um, you know, a big liking to? And vir I'm going to say it again, virtual high... <laughs> oh, flipping neck. Virtual high light is one of those games... If you're going to hold up a game and say this was a game that was this is one of the worst games of the system then you'd hold up Virtual Hired Light not something like Sonic R or you know another game I don't know um, um, or Sega Touring Cars for example you'd hold up this game really wouldn't you so the graphics are really bad, they're pixelated as hell, uh, they're totally, they're just totally pixelated, I just do not understand 
what they were trying to accomplish with the, the graphics in this game. The frame rate must be running at like 5 frames per second. And I've got to say that this game makes me feel sick. Every time I play this game, it may, honestly, I'm not making this up, it makes me feel sick. And I don't know whether it's the frame rate or just the graphics in this game in general, but it just makes me feel sick. Like after I played it, I just feel not so much headachey, but it just makes me feel sick. I don't know, I think it's it might be the frame rate and the graphics together, just something about it. And um, the story is just non-existent, just don't even think about a story in this game because it's non-existent. It is a free roaming game, but there's just nothing there that make, would make you want to play it. Um, there's just no endearing qualities to this game, no endearing qualities in the in the gameplay, the graphics, just, I will say that the music is the best thing about this game, and that is it. Everything else about this game is rubbish, the music's alright, music's fairly decent, but the rest of the game is rubbish. Um, the gameplay is rubbish in this game, the, the, just the controls and naff. Um, this game just goes out of its way to make you not want to play it. Honestly, just one of the worst games I've just ever come across, seriously. Um, and like I said, within, you know, I only have to play this game for like five minutes and I'm just feeling sick and I want to turn it off. Because I just, yeah, worst game ever, that's all I've got to say on it really. So that's uh, Virtual high high. Flipping neck virtual hydloid on the uh, Saturn. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying it. And if you do come across it and you are wanting to get it for your collection, then don't pay more than a couple of quid for it because it's really not worth the the uh, the money really.